Hello folks and welcome to another edition of the sounding board. It's been a while since we've had a sounding board, but tonight we're going to talk about Galaxy of Terror. Our Galaxy of Terror actually. Didn't sound as good when I said it the first time. But this is an old Roger Corman film which was released in 1981 starring Edward Albert and Aaron Moran. The original title of the film was Mind Warp. It, was one, it, it didn't test well, so Corman changed the name. Some of you may have seen this film in the theater back in 1981, but a lot of you probably have seen this on videotape, or the more recent version of the Shout DVD release. Galaxy of Terror is a film produced by Roger Corman, directed by Bruce D. Clark of Battle Beyond the Stars fame, with the work of James Cameron as second unit director, and he also has hands-on in the special effects and a lot of other areas, like set production, design. As you'll notice, the movie has a lot of the influence of Aliens, because a lot of the people who did the special effects stuff work on the Aliens film as well. But it's one of the, these, these rare films where you watch it, and you can see James Cameron at the early days working his magic. You know, we get to see how James Cameron started because we now know how he is today. The film has is interesting on how, if you watch the Shout DVD release, they talk about how they built the sets and what they use like foam uh, containers from Burger King they got out of dumpsters because of budgeted. Or the paper mache pyramid but it's just fun watching the special features where they're talking about all these special effects that what they did with zero to no budget at that for the for that time for the day it was done it's a budget but compared to star wars it's nothing because what they pulled off what they pulled off is a very interesting film with zero to no special effects going back to the roots of what old sci-fi was about creating the film features the cast of Edward Albert, Erin Moran, we know her as Joni Loves Chachi and Happy Days, Ray Walston, we know him from Mr. Ham from Fast Times at Ridgemont High, My Favorite Martian, and a stand he played Glenn Bateman, and a lot of other famous sci-fi roles which you would remember. Then there's Robert England, one of his early roles. Before he did Freddy or V, which is interesting, because you get to see him do something sci-fi based, but it ain't Willy and it ain't Freddy. Then we have Sid Higgy, and then we have uh, some other random crew members. I forgot who their names were. <laughs> Sorry. But as a side note, it's like you watch it and you're there. Wow, this is a good act acting Except for Erin Moran. Her acting is so, so bad that when Happy Days was canceled, so was her career. That is one of the few highlights of it. And then, let's talk about the highlight of it all. Okay, the highlight of it is... The Maggot and Taffy O'Connell. The real highlight of the film, because this is what really made people go and watch it, is because... Everyone wants to see a, a maggot rape a female in a – it's just wrong in so many ways because even the director, Bruce D. Clark, couldn't direct it. Roger Corman came in and directed this scene because he combined nudity and sex because he promised his backers they would they both would be in the film. And so you end up with this – shocking scene of a giant maggot raping Taffy O'Connell. And you got to wonder, is it kind of like she came to work that day and they go, so what are you going to do today? I don't know. I am think I'm going to get raped by a maggot. But the film is really worth going to checking out because it is a fun film and it goes back to classic sci-fi storytelling. It's Kind of Twilight Zone-y, and a little bit more cerebral than Star Wars. But 
the low budget turns people off on it, and actually the maggot does too. So, but it's worth checking out as a sci-fi fan. So let's check out the trailer and see what the film is about. Prepare yourself for the ultimate battle. Galaxy of Terror. Hell has just been relocated. It orbits a burned-out star at the edge of the galaxy. It's been waiting a billion years to scare you to death. Trapped in a living maze of terror. What are the odds of us getting out of here? What are the odds? Astronauts Edward Albert and Aaron Moran battle hordes of hideous shadow demons, encounter a razor-sharp living glass, brave the pit of doomed souls, just to discover the only way out is death. Thanks for joining us and watching The Sounding Board.